community, many computers disappeared, right? They all now took on other forms of, you know, cloud farms, servers are now cloud farms, blah, blah, blah. We all still will probably carry a, a mobile device. And then the other question is, where will first adoption be? Um, I personally think that uh, Google's a consumer company, that all they see are consumers. But it turns out there are probably um, uh, particular commercial niches where this thing would probably be adopted like this. Old where, people. Where it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the question Good is, answer. you know, will Google be the person, to, the company to do that, or will, as Ray pointed out, the other generations be picked up by other companies who kind of get it, who don't have their sophistication, but understand the markets may be even better than Google. I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's an inevitable. I think the things we wear, hear, feel on our wrist, etc., is kind of the next wave. And I, other people have been writing about it more coherently. And they've asked that as to go inside you. Right. Yeah. Right. So, but that's, right. You know, uh, uh, that's my wife's job. She's already in my head. And, uh, I can't make a move without thinking, what is she going to say? So, uh, that's all I got to read now. Uh, How do you see that changing the role of the media and the press? in this next generation <laughs> of augmented reality. You guys not notice the change in your business? <laughs> well, from the web, sure, but this is the next yeah, generation. Right. I mean, don't never forget, we are the story, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we have empowered a billion journalists. I mean, a billion people are commenting in many of these uh, different ways. And tweets and blogs are extremely influential. Uh, so we've democratized uh, journalism just as we've democratized a lot of other areas of democratizing education, with online education, with the hundreds of thousands of kids in Africa taking courses from Stanford and MIT coming to for free. Uh, and that's going to greatly expand. Every single subject will be available. Uh, the K graduate school in many languages will be online and free very soon. Um, so I think it's just another example of democratization of information. And I, can I have Jeff? Yeah, I, I, I think while we might have democratized information, I think we've just proven we've democratized surveillance as well, and that they're one and the same. Um, and that, uh, you know, worrying about that we, um, I didn't get the memo, maybe you guys did, about the Fourth Amendment went away, and then part of the First Amendment went away, because we can't talk about which part of the Fourth Amendment we gave up. I really think your jobs are all going to go away if none of you actually start raising your hands and talking about it seriously is that um, this is a big deal. And uh, it's been a big deal, but now it's been exposed enough that you can understand what a big deal is. And the more information we're putting on the line, the more information that a non-benign government someday might actually have access to, and our lives might change in a way that uh, aren't particularly uh, wonderful. Uh, so what I believe we're democratizing information, it's not necessarily good, and the pieces we've heard this week are not great. In fact, uh, I, I have a uh, thought. Oh. I hate to break this up, but okay. I'm going to do this. I hope everyone's up. Just gonna, Shall we move over? I know. We could probably go in all night. <laughs> now we're getting interested. Come <laughs> 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 on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they do. I used to be in the system. And, um, the quality of information, that's what we're talking about. Which yeah, business? That's the spying business? Right. So we, we have a number of guests. Sorry. Um, can we just move over to the VIP reception? It'll be wonderful. Thank you, everyone. It was a nice way to kick off.